Yo, yo, welcome to Trippy Commentaries. Thanks for joining me here in Grand Theft Auto V as we try to solve the Chiliad mystery. I'm RJ. Ever since the game very first released, people have been talking about hidden symbols and messages found throughout the landscape of San Andreas, and rightfully so. The game openly talks about the Illuminati during the main storyline, and we've seen some crazy hidden messages in past GTA games, that's for sure. Well, the biggest Easter egg in this game seems to revolve around aliens and extraterrestrials. And our boy Michael here definitely has a lot going on involving that. Well, in this episode, I wanted to feature Yoga, what I think still might be a secret key to unlocking the Easter egg, which, as I said, might have something to do with aliens. Perhaps Yoga is a way to contact the aliens because people don't realize that they think that yoga is just an intricate way of doing gymnastics maybe just a better way to stretch well it is a lot more than that well as far as hidden symbols are concerned there definitely are a lot here in michael's house you can see a one eye symbol here in this magazine it says gave up acting to save my sanity a lot of people here in san andreas and of course, the real world version of Los Angeles and Hollywood have to deal with craziness and acting. It definitely goes down and one of Michael's big dreams is to make movies. You can see a lot of interesting things here in the house. Uh, that spiral there is definitely got some symbolism behind it. And I'll go over that a little bit more in depth, especially looking at Michael himself. I feel like he is the most mysterious character in the game. He's the one who does get abducted by aliens. He joins the Epsilon Cult. And if you uh, reach the highest level of the Epsilon Cult, you get this cool star necklace as well. Or, uh, I'm sorry, sun necklace. I think stars are suns. But anyways, uh, we also have some dark horses of the apocalypse here in Michael's house. Interesting. Let's go ahead and check out one of the two yoga spots here in the game. Michael's the only guy who can do yoga. One being right here in his backyard. The other one is at Mount Gordo. And we've covered yoga before here in the channel, but I feel like it's a bit of a forgotten aspect to the Chiliad mystery. And I think there's so many symbols that point us towards it. Let's see if we can make it to Mount Gordo by three o'clock and try it as the holographic UFO is overhead Mount Chiliad. Because as you do yoga right there on top of the mountain, you can overlook Chiliad almost the entire time as you're doing the different positions. Now, I haven't really researched the different formations to yoga. I know each one has an individual meaning, so maybe that has something to do with the mystery. Maybe we do have to find that one yoga pose that is more powerful than the others. Now, as we fly to Mount Gordo, I did want to share some real world secrets to yoga that I think are uh, kind of familiar. It seems like they may also have something to do with the Chiliad mystery. Now, these are once again, secrets to yoga. These are in real life. So maybe this will convince you to pick up yoga yourself. Uh, one of the secrets to yoga is it is a way to unlock the truth. We have spoken a lot about the truth here in GTA 5. There was even a character named the truth in the original GTA San Andreas. And in Lester's house, there's a poster that has the truth featured on it. So uh, that, of course, linking up not only to the aliens, but also yoga. Yoga has been a, a way to uh, kind of get in touch with extraterrestrials or maybe just creatures from other spirits so it makes sense that that is the way to do so here in GTA 5 something we've really been trying to do contact the aliens and the UFOs now the next secret to yoga is unlocking secrets it's a way to unlock secrets that would make perfect sense here in GTA 5 as that is pretty much what we are trying to do unlock the secrets of the game Hell, in GTA San Andreas, it took a long time for them to find the hot coffee mod. So it's going to take a long time for them to find everything in this game, as Rockstar has pretty much stated. 
Uh, the next secret is that you must be pure because yoga is a way to purify your nerves. So if you're not pure or if you're not able to purify your nerves, you're not going to get the full ability of yoga as far as, uh, you know, reaching higher realms, higher levels of existence. The next secret to yoga is rhythmic breathing transforms you inside out. We've had some other Jetpack Hunter and Chiliad Mystery channels here on YouTube cover the rhythmic breathing, and it's a little bit of an unknown factor to this yoga mini game. There is different ways of breathing. You can do it possibly the correct way, and then also possibly the incorrect way. If you do it the positive way at the, the most specific time that they want you to do it, maybe that does something, or maybe you just have to do it the right way all the way through. Oh no, not the cougar. Showing up out of nowhere, always deadly. I'll meet you guys back at Mount Gordo. We'll do some yoga and I'll cover the rest of the secrets of yoga. So for those who don't know, Mount Gordo is one of the three major mountains in the game. You have Mount Josiah, which is right next to Fort Zancudo. Mount Chiliad is right there. That is the behemoth mountain of the game. And here is Mount Gordo. It is definitely unique. This is the other location where you can do yoga, of course. There's this radio tower. And on the other side of the mountain, you do have the lighthouse. So it is storming here on top of the mountain. Hopefully the UFO appears at 3 o'clock, as it should, atop Mount Chiliad. That'll happen in about 30 in-game minutes. And we will do some yoga at 3 o'clock, which seems to be the witching hour here in San Andreas. Damn, the mat is covered in rain. Unfortunately, we will change out of our Epsilon robes. The star or the sun there seems to be a huge part of the hidden symbolism in the game and it does correlate to yoga as well and of course the aliens. So you would think that wearing this Epsilon robe would be the perfect thing to wear as we do yoga, but Michael will change into some more comfortable gear. I guess that's, uh, that's certainly understandable. And you'll notice as we do the yoga, it'll feature Mount Chiliad a lot as well as this radio tower. Maybe there's a reason why this tower is here. You can see the lights are flickering. There's been some other Morse codes that were uh, discovered in the game, so maybe that's something we need to look further into. But let's get down with the meditation. Yes, because yoga is meditation, and meditation is yoga. As I said, this is a uh, huge component as well. The rhythmic breathing. I gotta try to do it as good as possible each time. Maybe one of these symbols or uh, one of the formations here of Michael doing the yoga is more special than another one. I know there's one called the mountain formation. Perhaps doing the mountain formation with Mount Chiliad in the background is just, it's gotta have something to do with these mysteries, guys. Why else would yoga be in the game? People have said it is a way to contact aliens and we have one of the alien UFOs right behind us as we speak, even though I guess it is kind of invisible. Now, uh, getting to more secrets of yoga, once again, these are real world secrets, seem to correlate a little bit here with the Chiliad mystery and some other messages we've seen before. Now, uh, yoga is a way to become calm. So right now, that is exactly what Michael is doing. And he certainly needs to do that. He is a crazy character. Another secret to yoga is that it is a way to explore the realm of your consciousness. Now, it seems like Michael has done that, especially when he has been abducted so perhaps exploring our consciousness is definitely something we need to look into here in GTA 5, especially as part of the Easter eggs. I will let you guys know that when Michael was abducted as part of the storyline, that was during the mission, did someone say yoga? And there's been a big misunderstanding about yoga. 
it is really a way to uh, perhaps enter a new realm altogether. Maybe that's too deep for uh, Grand Theft Auto V, especially their Easter egg, or maybe the fact that Yoga is in the game. You have the primary colors represented there with the candles. Seems like there's a whole lot of symbolism here in Grand Theft Auto V, undeniable symbolism, whether it be the Illuminati, whatever you want to call it. I still think a lot of that symbolism is linked back here to Yoga. Because a lot of people that are in these secret societies and delve into some uh, interesting beliefs, they all do yoga. Michael is the character here in the game that is able to pull that off. So uh, one, once again, the secrets to yoga in the real world are that it is a way to unlock the truth. You can unlock secrets. You must be pure. Anybody who has done yoga and didn't feel the effect probably didn't get the purification right. Uh, it's supposed to purify your nerves. As you see, Michael, check out Mount Chiliad in the distance. It is also a way to become calm. Now, the rhythmic breathing, you can see as I do this with live commentary, it's a little bit hard to get that rhythmic breathing perfect. I think that's something we do need to look at in depth Perhaps doing that rhythmic breathing at the right time, or even the entire time, is the way to go. With Michael on top of Mount Gordo, and once again, you can explore the realms of your consciousness by doing yoga. Guys, I feel like we've been trying to meditate, and the only way to meditate here in the game is by doing yoga. And there's only two places you can do that, and with one of those locations being on the top of a mountain overlooking Mount Chiliad, I really feel like there's got to be something to that, and it is a bit of a forgotten aspect to the Chiliad mystery. When the game first dropped, people, they were looking at yoga right away. They knew that there had to be something to that. When you go to the alien hippie camp, you can see aliens in yoga formations, and there's really been some untold mysteries behind yoga here in the real world that is probably linked to the biggest mystery in the game hell they say yoga is a way to contact extraterrestrials and that is the number one thing we've been trying to do here at trippy commentaries with the chiliad mystery thanks again for joining up guys i really wanted to just bring you a uh, cool episode where I talked about something that I felt has gone a little bit forgotten. There's so many different steps that might be involved with the Chiliad mystery, and if that's the, the case, if there are different things we have to do to complete this, then I can guarantee you, yoga is definitely one of them. Thanks for joining up for the episode, guys. Make sure to stay tuned. We have some special things planned for you, including some Chiliad mystery live streams that's a great way to interact with us, so stay tuned for the official date on that. I'm really looking forward to it, and we'll have some more episodes coming at you very, very soon. As always, stay trippy, my friends.